Back on the show is Matthew Lopez, who's got a big fight coming up here against Mitch Gagnon at UFC 206 in Toronto on December 10th. Matt, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. No problem. Glad to have you back on the program, man. And I got to say, I was stoked to see that you're on this uh, UFC 206 card because I'm actually going to be covering it. So it'll be good to finally get to meet you in person. But uh, right off the bat, uh, you and I were talking, trying to schedule this interview. And I thought you were on West Coast time because you you know lived out in California. But you have moved out to Colorado and are now training at Team Genesis. Uh, how did this sort of all come together? So um, it had kind of been brewing a little bit. I hadn't had a head coach for my whole whole MMA career. And I think that, you know, after the loss to Yaya, I kind of started to notice that I needed a head coach and I needed someone that needed to take me in a certain direction and kind of just have structure. So um, I came out here for two weeks in September and met uh, Trevor Whitman. And, you know, I'm longtime friends with Justin. So it was kind of a... Um, it just came together at the right time. It was just the perfect timing, you know, so for that. So, yeah, now I'm I'm up in the mountains in Colorado and, and freezing my butt off. Yeah, like Rocky style. I was going to say, and just, to, just to kill any rumors here, you're not just training in Colorado just to get adjusted to the Canadian weather because I know our winters are pretty brutal. <laughs> up there. Yeah, if, if we were outside, if we were fighting outside, that would probably be a, a smart move. No, but, no, I, I'm here full time now. Excellent. Yeah. And then you and your girlfriend have both moved out there. That's great. Um, what's sort of been the biggest difference other than the weather as far as uh, the Colorado culture and being in California? Um, as far as just the culture, I, th- I think it's kind of similar. You know, people out here in, in Colorado are a lot like people in California. They're, everybody's really genuine and nice, and especially where I live. It's, it's kind of it's, I don't even know if you can consider it a town. It's so small, you know, and everybody's just real welcoming and, and, and nice around here. So it's it's a good it's a good spot. Let's talk about your UFC debut, UFC Fight Night ninety one. Uh, you ended up losing by submission to Hanny. Yeah, yeah, like you mentioned there. Um, you always learn more from a loss than a win. Losses don't ever happen for you, it seems. Uh, what did you sort of take away from th- that fight? Um, I think the biggest thing I took away from that fight was that I I didn't do what I was supposed to do as far as my game plan. I'm a world class wrestler in you know in my in my own eyes. And, you know, my resume speaks for itself, but I think that I started to play his game too much. And when I was having success at the beginning playing his jujitsu game, it kind of built confidence. And, you know, it's only a matter of time before someone that high level um, catches you and, and did what does what he did to me. So I think that I focus too much on jujitsu and not enough on uh, wrestling defense and not letting he even get to that point where he can use his jujitsu. So, you know, that, that was on me. And that was, that was something that I, like you said, you know, you learn a lot more from losses and I had to go and reevaluate everything that's, that was going, going on in, in my camp and my surroundings. And I thought this move was, was for the best. And, and you get a nice turnaround here again, uh, fighting at UFC 206 in Toronto, a big card, uh, at least up here in Canada it is, it's, uh, you know, quite a big deal. Um, you're excited to be fighting in Canada for the first time. Cause I looked on your record there. You never fought in the great white North before. No, I've ne- I've never actually even been to Canada. So, but every, everything I hear is that everything's, uh, the people in Toronto and people in Canada are just, it, they're uh, crazy MMA fan, so it's going to be a, a awesome atmosphere, and and yeah, I'm excited. I'm going into his territory, so it's a little bit, you know, you, you have to do what you have to do, but I, I'm ready. I'm prepared. So now, did you know much about Toronto before accepting this fight? Like, do you know, like you know, kind of the professional sports teams and things like that? No, I, I uh, Blue Jays. I'm a I'm a big baseball fan, but. Uh, but you guys are big in hockey out there, right? Yeah, hockey. the Maple Leafs. That's like that's yeah, like yeah. kind of the big team out here. So I'm trying I'm trying to give you a couple little pointers here. So, you know, when people ask you, you know, yeah. just, just to turn the crowd on your side, right? So there's the I, Maple I, Leafs yeah. and then there's the Raptors. And Drake, uh, the rapper, yeah. he's from Toronto too. So uh, he lives in the United States. He can't even claim. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, he he was at the AMAs on Sunday. He gave a nice shout out to Toronto, which I thought was kind of neat. So uh, um, at least at least he still right. knows where he came from, right? So, so. I need I need to get me a uh, big old Maple Leafs. Uh, hockey jersey right exactly there you go (laughs) you do that the crowd will totally be on your side get an an austin matthews jersey they'll really like that all right (laughs) um but let's talk about your opponent here mitch gagnon uh obviously has not uh, competed in quite some time how do you see yourself matching up against him um i think it's kind of similar he's got a little bit better strike i haven't watched a lot of video on him uh 
I kind of, like I said, with the loss, I did a lot of uh, soul searching. I think I watched too much video on Yaya, and he kind of got into my head. So I haven't watched too much video on him, but he kind of seems, from from what I know, is that he's a little similar to Yaya, but with better hands. So, and he looks a little bit stronger. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know about a lot about him but you know it's kind of a redemption for me he's a grappler or he's known as a grappler so um i kind of get get to get this one back and and redeem myself a little bit now i mentioned the layoff there for mitch gagnon i'm going to give you a little bit of context here okay so mitch's last fight was december 2014 you fought five times since then <laughs> do you feel like the layoff is going to be a factor for him in this fight um, I don't think so. I think there's other factors that are that are more important than the layoff. Like he's going to be excited because he's in it's his hometown, right? Yeah, Kirk. yeah. He's yeah, he's from Toronto, so he actually yeah. is. It's not like one of those things where it's like, oh, the guy's from Edmonton, and then he's yeah. like in Toronto. <laughs> they're like, it's the same thing. It's not. But Mitch is actually from Toronto, so yeah, it, it is kind of a big deal for him. So he's got that for working for him or working against him. You know, I I Dominic Cruz talks about this a lot in in, in the ring rust and the layoff and stuff like that. I think it's a big mental mental thing and and i don't know i you know i've never met the guy i've never talked to him so i don't know how his mental capacity is but i'm sure he's fighting the ufc so he's at the highest level so i think he's going to be fine he's going to come out probably more amped up and energized because he's he is in his hometown so good stuff now um how's the uh, is you know the training camp and everything you're at team genesis uh, you mentioned justin justin gaethje who are some of the other people helping you get ready for this fight um well, it's a, mainly me and Justin, you know, we're kind of a close knit little group with Trevor, Trevor Whitman, you know, he's, I can honestly say he's changed my life and he's changed my outlook on MMA and, and you know, you get one of those coaches where, where you just click with him and when I got here, I, you know, I, I wanted to work with him so badly. That's, that's the whole reason we moved up here, you know, and, and I asked Justin, I was like, Justin, just, just bug him, bug him, let me work with him, let me work with him because for the for the two weeks I was out here, he's he you know he just blew my mind and all the technique and his philosophies and stuff like that, and I just immediately clicked. So it's it's a lot of just me and Justin and a couple other guys, you know, sprinkled here and there. But for the most part, it's me, Justin, and Trevor um, working every day. And yeah, it's it's a it's a great mixture. You know, Justin, his mentality. You know, you've you've talked to him, so you his mentality and his the, his approach to MMA and in this fight this fighting game. I promise you, there's no one that that's like him. You you can't find anybody that's like him, n- not in this whole this whole sport. So, he's really helped me. Um, I've kind of absorbed that a little bit. Uh, uh, he's rubbed off on me uh, on in that way. And the nice thing too is Justin has his fight a couple weeks after yours, so I'm sure you guys are kind of you know getting ready at the same time, so to speak. Yes. So his last fight too that was canceled. So he we we were working before that, and then that one got canceled, and you know. He hasn't taken any breaks, so he's he's with me every single day. We run together, we drill together, we we spar together. So having someone like him, that pressure and and uh, his power, it just it just builds my confidence that I get to be around him every day. How's the cut to one thirty five going right now? This is this is probably one of the better ones. You know, when I was back in California, I was still coaching uh, wrestling, and I had a lot of, a couple other things that I was doing and. Now that I just get to focus on training and, you know, diet and everything like that, I'm good. I'm sitting around 147 right now. So um, I, I feel great. This is, this is you know, mentally, physically, I, I feel rested. I feel great for this fight. I was going to say, it comes through in the interview, and I'm not just saying that because uh, you're in like a log cabin right now, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you, see, you seem pretty relaxed, so I like to hear that it, stuff. It, it, and like like you touched on, you know, the culture and stuff. Everybody's a lot more laid back, so I, I I I'm you know I'm taking that in. I'm I feel the same way. You know, I just train and and eat, and I come home and rest and train, and that and that's that's my life right now. So it's good. Awesome. Uh, prediction for the fight, December tenth. How do you see this one ending? I, I my hands getting raised for sure. You know, I I learned a lot from that last fight, and it, him being similar to that, I don't think that he can. Um, test me anywhere i don't think that he his stand-up is is as good as mine and definitely i will make a statement with my grappling he's not he's not taking me down that's for sure so um i'm getting my hand raised no matter what and i i hope to get a finish you know especially being in toronto so i don't want him to have a any kind of home field advantage with the crowd so i need to silence them we're recording this on november 23rd american thanksgiving is coming up in like a day or two uh how are you spending thanksgiving in colorado 
I have jujitsu practice tomorrow morning, and then I'm coming back, and I hopefully will get a little bit of turkey. And that's probably the only thing I can eat uh, as far as the Thanksgiving dinner. So I can't eat stuffing and mashed potatoes and stuff like that. But it'll all be worth it. Trust me. I'll have my Thanksgiving December 10th. I was going to say, are you going to like put all the stuffing and, and all the gravy and stuff in the freezer and just freezer, like yeah. thaw it out after, after the fight? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I've been watching all these uh, Instagram and, and videos about all these leftover meals you can make with your uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So we might have to put one of those together. Awesome. Well, Matt, I'm certainly looking forward to the fight. UFC 206 in Toronto, December 10th. Where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, floor is yours, man. Uh, Instagram, Matthew Lopez, 135, uh, Twitter, Matthew Lopez, 135, you know, shout outs to, uh, Trevor, Justin for helping me out. My sponsors, uh, American ethanol, uh, and Steve Martin with legacy builders. He's been with me since, you know, pretty much day one. And he's always helped me out. He helped me out with this move and, you know, big shout out to him.